Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Patrick with Stacking Layers. Today I'm going to do a little uh, mailbag type of uh, video because I just received this uh, new product in the mail. Uh, today we got the Raspberry Pad 5 by BQ, Big Tree Tech. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly what's coming in the box. I'm assuming it's just the screen, but uh, basically what this is is a screen designed for the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, uh, I guess a stripped down Raspberry Pi or it's designed for... Uh, adding into other um, items like a screen or some other things. You, so you build your devices around the compute module. So you get a, all the, the capabilities of a Raspberry Pi, but without all the extra um, peripherals already snapped on, like, um, uh, what is it, like the internet input and output and all that different stuff, um, or uh, USB ports and all that. They're not built into this, so it's, it's built into this thing. So anyways, let's get this open and see what it looks like. Like I said, yep, Big Tree Tech. Uh, BQ and Big Tree Tech, they are one and the same. Big Tree Tech, if you guys don't know, is the, uh, uh, I guess they're like the main company. And then BQ kind of split off to do all the 3D printer style, the actual machines and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it is. So BQ, Big Tree Tech, same thing. So anyways, let's get this opened. Do we got in here? Okay, what is this? So we got a number five. Interesting. It's clever packaging. <laughs> yeah, we got a number five. Uh, the five is because it's a five inch screen. Uh, as far as I remember, it's a five inch screen. So yeah, business card. Pretty cool. And we got a box with stuff. What do we got in here? Probably cords. Yep. A little roll of something and USB-C cable. And what is this? There's something hard in there, so I don't know. Suspicious package. It's a little strange. Um, oh, there's standoffs and screws. Okay. So that's to attach the uh, the module, I, I suppose. Um, and looking in here, yeah, there's no module. It's just the screen, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately, not because I don't want to buy the module, but because they're near impossible to buy at the moment. It's sold out everywhere, um, and because of that, they're um, yeah, they're expensive. The ones that you can find. Um, now, a cool thing about um, about uh, these being sold right now on the website, if they're still available, um, there was a limited supply that they had actually secured um, Big Tree Tech. So they they actually sell a kit if you want to buy the screen and the compute module that goes inside this zone. You can get it all in one. Um, I, as you can see, I didn't get that that kit, but so that basically means I can't use this until I figure out how to get one of those modules. If anybody has any tips on where to find them right now at a decent, affordable price, then that'd be great. Drop those little hints down in the comments because I want to get this thing working. But I'll take it out for you anyways. I think this thing's pretty awesome, actually. Really excited to get one. So, there it is. Should we peel off this stuff? Yeah, why not? Ooh. So, yeah. It's a pretty nice little touch screen. Um, it's bezel-less. Well, it's got a bezel on the screen, as you can see here. But it's uh, it doesn't have any, any type of casing. So, that's going to have to be modeled and printed. Yeah, we can work on something like that while I wait for the module to be available. So that's interesting, actually. I would expect that there would be some sort of, like, plastic rim around here or something to, to hold that because it's, I mean, it's it's not sharp glass, luckily. It's smoothed out really nicely done there. But, uh, yeah, so it is designed to be installed in, in your own, you know, 3D printer or whatever setup. You actually use this. It doesn't have to be 3D printing related. Um, although, I mean, that's what they're selling it for is for you know, have your Raspberry Pi on with clipper and peripherals out and in and all that good stuff, internet, and you got assignable buttons and all that stuff. So a lot of cool stuff there, but you can also use it for, I mean, you got HDMI out, um, three USB ports, uh, there's your import for power, I believe, um, and the internet, and then all the other GPIO pins. So that's a, a lot of nice stuff. You even have a battery uh, input here for... Um, for timing and stuff for um i would assume for clock and whatnot to keep that going so you can use this for instance as as a uh, clock setup or a uh, uh home automation type of a screen or weather <laughs> station or whatever because it's, it's you know it's whatever you can build with a raspberry pi you can you know build with this thing so that's pretty cool it's got a lot of nice peripherals 
Uh, ribbons are a little messy. That's that's kind of disappointing. The ribbon cable's a little, really sharply bent, actually. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it needs a it needs a case. They might work on this. This is version one, as you can see. So it's you know I'm sure they're they're looking for input and whatnot. But yeah, the ribbon cables are a little skewed and a little interesting. But nice weight to it. It's got seems like it's got quality material. Um, it's not a super light cheesy thing. It's it's a capacitive touchscreen. I wish I could power it up for you guys, but I, I can't do anything without that module in there, unfortunately. That's that's I gotta say the biggest drawback of this thing is that you really can't use it unless you have that uh, Raspberry Pi um, CM4, Compute Module 4, um, to put in there. So, little downer on that. So I can't really show you much more, unfortunately, but this is the unit. The Raspberry Pi, uh, sorry, Raspberry Touch 5, as they call it? Yeah, Raspberry Touch 5. Foresee the creativity store, says on the, on the box there. So, yeah. So that's what we get in the box without buying the Compute Module 4 kit. Cables, standoffs, and a screen. Pretty decent screen. I'm pretty excited to get this going, so whenever I can get a, a CM4 module, then I will be able to uh, do another video and power this up and see what I can make it do. Maybe I'll just use it for... Um, uh, try to finally convert my system over to Clipper and use this as that. That would be a nice project. But, yeah, what do you guys think? Something you would be interested in? Um, that's pretty much all I can say about this for now. And just be patient and wait for uh, me to get one of those modules. And once I get one, I'll do another video of it powered up and see how it's going, okay? If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Let me know. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.